getting ready for the spring, here are some things to do. First, I like to start off with a setting spray. It helps keep the moisture in my skin. Then I go in with a BB cream. I really like to use BB cream in the spring because it provides enough coverage, but it's light and it doesn't give my skin a real cakey feeling. You can use any BB cream. Here I'm using the Hydroxytone one. I have a full review and demo on that if you're interested. Go in with an eye corrector. I really like to use a yellow toned one, but you could use a brightener, but the yellow tone just kind of cancels out any under eye areas that you could have from lack of sleep, which I have. I like to go in with the cream eyeshadow. Any cream eyeshadow base will work. And then just apply that all over the lid. This is going to help the rest of our shadows stick. Go in with any of your favorite light shimmery champagne colors and go ahead and pack that uh, all over your top lid. I like to go in with sweeping motions and then I kind of go back and pat it through so it adheres to the base. Then go in with any matte tones that you like. Here I'm using the Naked Basics. I like the cool tone matte that this has and just sweep that through the crease just to add dimension to your eye. Then go back in with the deeper matte brown shade and add that into a little bit into the crease and then more concentrated on the outer corner and just bring it down to meet the lash line. Now go back in with any type of blending brush and just go ahead and blend that out so there are no harsh lines. Go in with that deeper matte brown shade and run it along the bottom lash line. This is nice to do when you don't want to wear a darker color on your lash line. Go in with a light highlight, put it under your brow bone and in your inner corner. This will open up your eyes and make them appear bigger and brighter. Now using a nude flesh tone eyeliner on your bottom lash line makes your eyes look more awake. Go ahead and run a spoolie through your eyebrows and we're going to do a light eyebrow look today. Go in with a pencil and just lightly fill in your eyebrows and then I set it with a powder. Now using your favorite liquid or you can use gel liner, just do a small winged, simple, thin line along your top lash line. I start on the outside and then I move in and it seems to work for me to get a straight line. It's kind of tricky at first, but if you just keep practicing, you'll get the hang of it. Go ahead and apply your favorite mascara. I like to use a bronzer in the spring and instead of heavy contouring, I kind of just lightly contour with a bronzer. Go into the hollows of your cheeks and around the outside of your face. Then I kind of pull my hair back and do along the hairline. That just brings some warmth and color to my face. Favorite thing to do is use a cream blush because this really brings like a dewy appearance to the skin and then also it keeps your blush lasting all day. I like to go in with a light mineralized blush. This is from the drugstore. It's perfect. And I use a big fluffy brush and just kind of sweep it and dust it over the cheeks. Using your favorite highlighter, put it on the tops of your cheekbones to bring light to your face and also to give you that light spring dewy look. Nothing says spring like pink lips. Go ahead and line your lips with your favorite pink liner and then pop some pretty pink lipstick on and don't forget to top it with a gloss for that extra pouty look. So here is my fresh spring look. I hope you all liked it. Um, Alyssa products should be in the down bar and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching. Mwah. Let's be friends. You can find me on my social media. Here's my Twitter and my Instagram. And if you're looking for a full review on the Hydroxytone BB Cream, I'll link it below.